one and all, and welcome to another episode of Between Sisters. It's SYC in the place to be. In February, the month of Black History. Aha! First you in. Said, no. <laughs> you peeped the rhyme, right? I peeped the rhyme. I peeped the rhyme. First in Bars. is me. Bars. Is me, Kaya. Second in. It's Shauna Dawn. And last but certainly not least is the Y in SYC. That's <laughs> EVE. <laughs> so, yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is Black History Month and we are black. We are black. Black and beautiful, black and vibrant, intelligent everything that you can think of beautiful that's who we are well shout out to the love of our lives shout out to okisha chola b we love you guys um black history has been made every single day but one thing that i can say is this year 2023 we have had some amazing accomplishments and feats that have been happening. And one of the accomplishments that have been made, shout out to Viola Davis, who, who, mm. who has become an EGOT winner. One of one three, black, three women. black women. I mean, we've been, we've been in this country since before freedom we literally built the country and we only got three egots three black women egots i don't understand how that but you know and we talented out the wazoo i don't un even understand how that can happen but viola has recently become after the grammys she has recently become an egot winner and yeah. rightfully deserved because the way this lady could cry, mm. like the 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 snot, everything be running down. She put mm. the snot alone. Like I don't even know how her co-stars can even after after cut, you know. And right. while we're talking about Viola, shame on the. Oscars for not even recognizing the woman king until like shame on them because they were black women led and directed by black women so shame on them well the Oscars has a very long history of being one-sided the white so do you do you expect anything different? Absolutely not. <laughs> they just going it is going to keep doing what they do. <laughs> Period. But the Grammys it was hosted by my main man Trevor Noah. Who I love did a, him. I love him. Who did a marvelous job. I love as him. Host. He has recently stepped down from the Daily Show. Even though we did just recently go and see D.L. Hughley as host. And he's just so suave and devonair. D.L. Hughley, he talked directly to us. Shauna was the first person that he talked to as we were in the front, front, front really? row. Yes. I, I, yes. I he hear the story. He, he told mommy, he was just like, he was like, these are your daughters? He was like, what do you drink, lotion? <laughs> yes. He was, like, just, he was just, like, he, he was too cool for school. He was too school, cool for school. I love DL. Love DL. But um, Trevor Noah was an, an amazing host. There were some things in the Grammys that were a little brow raising to me. Mm -hmm. Bad Bunny's performance was good. You know, he, he yes. started it off. I was just like, okay. You know, I felt like I was back in Brooklyn in the back old days. <laughs> yeah. You know, but 
it wasn't until Sam Smith performed his song, Unholy. Did you guys see it? No. Mm -hmm. I yeah, it was very oh, dark. Sam I Smith like, I, I miss Kim Pe Petrus. I miss, look, again, I, I guess we like Sam Smith, the, we know who he right. was. When <laughs> like I need that right, right. We like that Sam Smith, but so there were eighteen complaints to the FCC. Oh wow! About their eighteen performance, yes, or eighteen thousand? No, eighteen. That was it. That was it. There were eight because who's actually? taking the time to write to the Dev CC because, you know, people felt that it was worshiping Satan. and But you have the choice to turn the channel. And that's what I did. It, right. Because you I, I the watched, to turn I watched the it live. I watched the show live, obviously. Mm -hmm. But when they started to, when it started and I saw the stage mm -hmm. i said oh hell no because yeah. i was in the room with my nine-year-old son right i didn't even I was, see it live. like i was watching it live but i walked away to the kitchen to get i was just like oh I don't, I don't need to see that and i walked away to get something in the kitchen and then when i saw the media going crazy that's why i was just like oh so they, you know, they said it was anti-Christian, it was worshiping the devil. And again, I say you have every right to either watch or change the channel. Mm -hmm. I love God. You know, um, I, I don't do that stuff, you know, the devil stuff. But there are people who do. I just won't be friends with anybody that worships a, you know the devil but that's that's me people watch those shows the them tv awards some of the grammys because they know someone is going to do something to spark some sort of um reaction but do you need that type of reaction that's just the thing and now I know that, um, what's his name? Um, Old Town Road, dude. Uh, Lil Nas X. Yeah, with the whole um, Rod and Satan, mm -hmm. you know, that, that video that he did. Mm -hmm. Like, I understand that you're trying to elicit some type of, you know, response from people because you're trying to prove something and you're trying to garner or, or some type of reaction from people. But is that the type of reaction that you want? It's got us talking about it, so. All, all, was it all press is good press? Unfortunately, Remember in Johnson's family vacation when Shorty, when it was in, um, they were trying to pray <laughs> and, and then Shorty was just like, they were like, like <laughs> and he was like, let's, let's go. go. <laughs> they had, they had Madonna get up there to introduce it. And Madonna looked like the lady from Saw. Mm -hmm. and CBS goes and, and responds to Sam Smith's what happened to latching on to you? What happened to that? And what mm -hmm. happened to the song to, that he has with um my girl Temptation Temptation um, uh, Tiwa Savage what's that, what's <laughs> What happened to that Sam Smith? He's going in a Different time? Yeah. Person. This is Sam. You. Right? I'm like, no, Sam. It's not, not for us. us. No. Clearly. Mm -hmm. Not the demographic. Well, yeah, CBS response to Sam's 
Twitter um, post, it goes, time to worship. CBS? Too. That's crazy. Now, I didn't see that. I didn't know about that. That's ridiculous. I guess I have every right to change. But you're a major network, and you're you say time to worship. Then this is the same channel who blacklisted Janet after uh, the whole breast, some of the nipple thing. And right. speaking of Janet, CBS wanted to give her some award. Oh, yeah. And um, but her staff was like, "Are y'all going to apologize?" And they said no. And, yep. So she was like, "No, thank you." Right. Yeah, she should. She don't need that. Right. She doesn't need it. Right. CBS because she's Jenny. Miss mm. Jackson, Jackson is nasty. <laughs> But aside from that, Lizzo's performance was so good. That mm -hmm. choir feel was so ah, uh, and the the harmonies ah. Mm -hmm. uh. I think she, I think she felt like, look, I'm gonna show y'all that I could sing. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it wasn't a whole bunch of effects, and mm -hmm. you know, her on. Her playing the flute, it was just her and them in some backgrounds. And I actually, I was so proud of her. Like, I was so happy for her that whole night because you could see that she's like being really genuine. Like, you could tell, like, that's really who that's she her. is. She's not, you know, she's not fake or whatever. She wants that's everybody her. to win, regardless of what you look like, regardless of what you love and stuff like that. She doesn't care. Like, so her energy and she was like giving props to Beyonce like so excited it was funny mm -hmm. that everybody was excited that Beyonce was there I know. <laughs> yeah because in, in, in the beginning when Trevor was like yeah Beyonce is here and she and was she just like where she, she said where where that was a real fan moment like and that just shows you like people especially black women we're not that, oh, we're competing against right. There's you know, not everybody. Each other. Like, no, like I'm actually like you're for you. giving your props. Like I look up to you. I want to be like, like, not be like mm -hmm. you, but like inspire to be, you. you know, on the level that she's in on. So it just, it was just a, a and then it was just like, oh, black girl magic. Like, yes. And so, she's the first, sorry, go ahead. She's the first black person to win i thought they said she was the second no well i wasn't finished she was okay. the first black person to win in this century because the last one to win was done was lauren hill in dumb in 98 oh okay mm. so let me, me all the way there, together there's some dumb some dumb some controversy because they tend to not give those big awards like the album of the year, record of the year to Black people. Mm -hmm. Like her and Adele was just having a grand old time. They were just having <laughs> fun together. Like they, they didn't care. They was rooting for everybody. Like they just they like- just they, said, they said they got so drunk. Lizzo <laughs> said she got so drunk on wine and tequila. But when and you just tell class? like they were just like, did you right. see? Right, <laughs> like, they had no flask. She was taking sips. Oh, uh, you could just tell like I'm gonna enjoy this I, moment. I'm gonna root for like, everybody. I, I'm here to have a good time. <laughs> right, and I don't care what nobody says because the way she was acting on her and Adele, I was, I was like, like y'all better go, go ahead hang out with y'all. <laughs> Right. So, so wait. So, how do we feel that Beyonce did not win Album of the Year and Harry Styles did? Now, Beyonce did break the record for, most for the Grammys for the most Grammys, Grammys yeah wins. Right. So, kudos right. to that. Yes. Kudos to that that she did win. She, she broke history. the record. She did right. make history that night. Yeah. 
but his... even after she broke she made history by breaking that record she got snubbed because but everybody knew you saw the whole audience it's like if she didn't win for um lemonade which you know in my opinion i like that album better better than, than renaissance, renaissance. Yeah, no, me too. But oh, I think Renaissance. That, but I think Renaissance, as far as the push and as far as the yeah. rotation. No, I told I think, you. And the book, I thought it was going to win because I, 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 that "Break My Soul" and "Cuff It" has been right everywhere. She was an alien not, superstar. Right, like no, she was not going to win over. Um, it's over. Politics. Okay, so let's go to who votes. So the twelve thousand people who are well, how, eligible. How do, how do we get in in these twelve thousand? So right. how do we get on these so twelve thousand lists. You, so you have to be a creator or like an artist. A producer a songwriter or an end and check yeah. check 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 so um and you uh you can become a, a voter with the endorsement of at least two recording academy voters and you have to pay dues dumb of a hundred a month Okay. So those are the criteria. And if you think of the music business, we're talking artists, producers, songwriters of the country, rock, the, the, the bluegrass, you know, it's all different types of Beyonce, Beyonce is played on every station. Harry Styles is not played on every at station. At the end of the day, Beyonce, before she's the Queen B, before she's anything, Beyonce is black. And it, it's it's just, it's tough. She is the end all be all of this time. But yet yeah. she still. Did you see doesn't... Harry's performance? Did you see Harry's performance? Yeah. Did you see that one step he did with his <laughs> knees up? Did you see that step he did with the knees but up? Again. Did you see the step? At the end of the day, Beyonce. Did you, yes, I did, did you see the see, step? Yes, Kai, I saw the step. They're not going to give it to Beyonce because she's black. At the end of the day, it always ends in race. She could, she has had the biggest success, the best selling tours. And even then she still at times doesn't make more mm -hmm. than Taylor Swift because yep. she's black. It always ends there. And did you see Taylor dancing? <laughs> I was like, please stop. I was like, cause you have no rhythm. <laughs> And these she people, better go these ahead. People, don't these don't people, you tell. These people love her. And she don't has not tell, an tell ounce of sing. rhythm. She has not an ounce. You can't. Don't you tell her she can't dance. <laughs> the fact don't you that tell her. because of her, her concert, <laughs> Ticketmaster ended up in front of Congress. Congress. Again, it. It starts and ends with race. I'm you know what? Put me on the tour. Put me as a background singer for Taylor. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a check. Girl, get, get you in with Taylor. And could you imagine singing like, the background? Could you imagine singing background for Taylor? And they'd be like, "Man, that's you. You could do it head voice, head voice, <laughs> head voice only. It's, it's too much." <laughs> Too much from your chest. I, I need your head voice. It's too much soul. It's too, too much. much soul. Yeah. yeah. Too much. I, I, I hear I, I hear Negro. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Too much. It's too much belting. It sounds like a right. Sounds like you're belting. Need a little more. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, like a ha, ah, ah, like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Nice and soft. <laughs> thank you. Child, I wouldn't know what to do with myself. I get excited and take the mic from her. I'm like, this is how you do it. <laughs> like, <laughs> you do it. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, they were like, Miss Rogers, we would like to speak to you after the show. <laughs> to speak to you in her dressing room <laughs> we're gonna have a meeting on monday okay <laughs> so not only did beyonce get snubbed for our uh, album of the year we had 50 years as it is black history we had 50 years of hip-hop the genre that has literally changed the face of a generation, the face of a globe. It has impacted every continent on this mm -hmm. earth. First, it was like, oh, it's a fad. They said it was going to oh, go away. They said it was just. Ass. Now, every and anybody. And it was started by a Jamaican DJ. Up in the it was started. It was started by black and Latino, mm -hmm. and oh. it has it has blossomed into a genre and a culture that has surpassed and that makes so much money. A lot. It is a billion trillion dollar industry, and unfortunately, we don't own it. Mm -mm. Of course we wouldn't. But that's another story for another day. But we talk about the Grammys. Mm -hmm. We talk about the, the, the tribute to hip hop. And they brought out the legends, right? They brought out the legends. That stage was filled with legendary hip hop, hip hoppers. You know what I'm saying? And it was put together by my man Questlove. I love Chris Love. He's just right? amazing. Yes, I love him, you know, with his fro. <laughs> so Quest Love start uh he put it together and it started with LL and Black Thought. So he also had Run DMC, Salt and Pepper, Missy Elliott. Mm-hmm. My man's bus a bus. <laughs> he can do no wrong to me. No, no wrong. wrong. Even when he was he was um, denying COVID, uh, um, <laughs> the vaccine and everything. Even when he was doing that, I still was I was still bus a busing. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't be mad at him. You you just told him like just go sit down in the corner real yeah, quick. Yeah, just, just like shut up, bus. <laughs> I was just Grand, like shut up, bus a bus. Grandmaster Flash, Grandmaster Five, Melly Mel, Grand Chuck T, Academy, yes, Flavor uh, Blade, Boy. DJ Jazzy Jeff. I totally forgot oh. that he was on the ones and twos. I said, did I say Spliff? No, you did not say Spliff. Okay. You can't say. I, I, I'm sorry. I said bus a bus. Yeah, I didn't say Spliff. And, and not say Spliff. So Grand Mess Queen Flash, Latifah. Yes. Melly Mel, Queen Latifah. Um, Big boy. Uh, with uh, Scorpio, Ethiopian King, Ice T, um, mm -hmm. Method Man, The Locks, Missy Elliott, Nelly. Um, Rock him. They had to give a disclaimer out in the beginning. They said we could not call. Because, <laughs> like they had to say it. He said, "Look, and we gotta we say it." Not include everybody. Everybody, I because, know. Because of course, all of. Uh, well, what about this one? What about that one? The Barb's were all like, "How you, Nikki? Nikki, yeah. I can't have uh, like, like Wayne, but." He, Wayne was after. So, it, like, you have, to, like, you couldn't have Drake. 
you know, it was just certain, it was the, the Fuji's, the, right. you know, there was a lot of there people was that was missing. Of, there was a lot of people that we understood. We said salt and pepper? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Scarface, we said Scarface? No, you didn't say Scarface. Okay, Scarface, Swiss Beats, Too Short, Pies. Pies. From, yeah. I saw. Plug One. Plug Two just passed away. Rest in peace. Because we, we was all like, where's Plug Two? I know, where's True Boy? Because we yep. just thought, we thought he was going to come out, come out. buddy. <laughs> I was waiting. By the way, I have I have posted a story about Rock Kim saying what up to Jay Z and Rock Kim like my story. <laughs> she was so excited, so excited. She was so excited. Let me tell you something. But then after we got all hype with all of these major legends just coming on the stage doing a thug dizzle. Then they transitioned to the newbies. Mm -hmm. Then they had Low Baby, mm -hmm. Low Rilla, and then Lil Uzi Vert. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> now, Lil Lil Baby, he did his thing. Now, Glow Rilla. Here she go, Lord Jesus. You knew she was gonna say so. Here she go, Lord, sweetie. You knew my she was my baby. So. It was probably the different, you know, the same. No, no, the no. Ears, the ears sometimes ears. be messing you yeah, up. The, no, yeah. no. The ears sometimes you can't. No, hear. no. It's Shut a up. Off. Shut up. <laughs> Look, you know what? I can't say nothing. You know why? Because I, I was sitting at home watching her on stage performing. So sis, do you, you're the one getting paid, not me. <laughs> to share a stage with such, it's not for us. Such. That's what I say, it's not for us. Everything okay. is for us. We had the performance by Bad Bunny. We had the performance by Lizzo. We had this performance, Tag Khaled. Those things were for us. No, I'm just saying that, you know, practice makes perfect. And, you know, there used to be a search, such a thing back in the day called artist development. And sometimes people would be on artist development for years before they were even allowed to, you know, actually perform in front of people, especially on a stage like the Grammys. And um, I don't know if that still exists today. Well, you have, you know, people become Instagram. TikTok famous. famous. TikTok famous. You know, I don't know. Like, I, I've i learned about people because they always in some ish online. Mm -hmm. Like, and then I'll hear, oh, they got a song. I was like, "Oh, okay." All I'm saying, and I'm not, I'm not saying that she got to come out um, floating on air like Lena Horn. All I'm saying is, at least know how to um, work your in this and and rock to the beat. This is, I this is probably her first biggest on air. This is her first. So now the let let's see if she's still here. Dummy five years. If she's still performing, because even like uh, what's oh, we didn't say big boy. Big boy was there too. Oh, you said big boy. Okay, my bad. Um, what's the? You said method man. Yes, kind. Okay, my bad. Sorry, we named everybody. We named everybody. Sorry. Um, what's a face? Face Lotto. Yeah. He's new. However, she's been out. She's been in, you know, she's been trying since she was yeah, for a, a kid. While. So when she's mm -hmm. on stage, she looks like a 
seasoned seasoned person because she's been in this game for years. So it's just like you have to, you know, I say let's wait and see. Uh, Jump to her next one. Okay. All right. Last but not least, Khaled said God did. He had God more, did. He had more food to feed all of Los Angeles. And I want to know, was that like real food? Like I don't think it, yeah, it couldn't be real food. They probably had that wax or something. Because them peel back, them peel back oranges look like real food. Because <laughs> what y'all did afterwards, y'all better been feeding the hungry or something. I know, I know. That food, that food better had gone to the 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 shelter. I would have been walking on set. Excuse me. <laughs> you don't Before mind. I go back to my, you don't mind. Do you? <laughs> Just get some. Um, but I, I I appreciated that performance with John Legend, uh, Rick Ross, mm -hmm. Friday, Wayne, Khaled, Lil Wayne, with his um his Eskimo leg warmers. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, I I really appreciated that performance, and I actually sat um the next day and I listened to Jay's verse a few times. Mm -hmm. And I had a little bit of a difference of opinion in my thoughts about Jay and his actions, if he did have those actions back in the day of what everybody was saying, what he did to um, shade his friends or whatever in business. Had a, more of a, I think, I don't know. Cause I feel like he still done with Ty Ty or all these years. If you were that shady bigs, yeah, I time just, time big. yeah, I just mm -hmm. don't know. So if I'm shady, I'm only. But I got the I got the same friends. I got the same friends from that I've had. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I just I don't know. Mm. I'm rocking. I'm rocking with my same core it's friends. Same, it's the same people that so I had. I'm shady. Is it that we were associates back then? You know, when some people become famous, then all the cousins. Mm-hmm. Wanna come out of way of like Yeah, they come out of everybody the like Kim Fo. Yeah, Kim Fo. Right, exactly. And he even said that he even said that in the uh interview. He was like, yo, sometimes I go to family functions and they be like, yo, yo. You know, I got this one thing if you could just help me with and stuff. And he's just like, come on, don't, don't do that. Like, I'm mm -hmm. just here to be chill. Like, don't, don't keep mm -hmm. on asking for him yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. Like, don't, you know? Mm -hmm. And because I know that what they do to give back mm -hmm. until freedom and like they do things like, Denzel, this the, mm -hmm. uh, that nobody knows. You don't because hear every, about. You, mm -hmm. you know, like I hear reputable people with businesses, with organization that they give. How do you do all of that? And then in the end, you're a part of. The, and then here's the thing: what is the? And then you're a part of a sinister <laughs> plan. To Illuminati, like destroy where did that, like start. Right. Where did it come from? And it's just like that's because because this is my theory. Like if if there was some plan to for the black delegate to buy out or to take over the monetiz monetization of the hip hop conglomerate, whatever it was supposed to be back in the day. And if Jay-Z allegedly sold them out is what everybody's saying. If Jay-Z sold them out and hooked up with like the Leos and stuff and he ended up becoming a billionaire, 
right? And he's the only one in that cipher that has become a billionaire. But he's like he said, and God did. He was able to get Meek Mills out, and he got smoke for all of the politicians. He got he got um, lawyers in his pocket like shooters. You know what I'm saying? Now he now he's in a position of power where he can fight mm-hmm. like on a different on a different level. Because once you reach that level, all you have to do is make, make a, a call. call. You have a different status and a different level of power in that Mm -hmm. position, as opposed to in the position now where you're fighting, you're in fighting with your like kinfolk in that, Mm -hmm. you know, in that realm. But now that you're in this realm, you understand what I'm saying? So Mm -hmm. maybe that was a strategic move on his part because he saw things from a different lens. But the people that were in that that movement back then see it from a different right. They and they're like, yo, he 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 scold he um he 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 shaded us, yo, he left us for dead, he did this and that that that. And now he 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 turned on us like the Jaguar lights, and you know, he he's a you know, because they was talking about the whole thing with the Jaguar. Everybody everybody can't go with you to the next level. Everybody Everybody can can go. So everybody's saying something now. And it was just like, yeah, you see all of that disappear. Hey, everything, you know what I'm saying? But now Meek Mill was locked up, that judge. And you see that judge that um everything with the Meek Mill situation. What happened to the judge? The judge, <laughs> that judge is like floating in the wind. I got my own stuff going on in my life. Right. Think about it. They are part of the Illuminati like this. Right. Does it even exist? Uh, like, is that even a real thing? Or I'm looking, I'm right. looking at it. I'm looking at it like I'm looking. No, I'm looking at it to see if these are allies. If when we get to a point where we could pick up a phone and be like, "Yo, hey, mm-hmm. I can we can we depend on you?" Rock Nation does a lot for bail reform they do a lot for like the criminal justice system like they do a lot of things that uh, people don't speak about because they're not doing they're not doing it like yeah so i'm I'm, I'm over here i'm over here trying you know what i'm saying no Mm -hmm. they do a lot for bail reform there are mm-hmm. those meetings with the politicians, the with lobbyists, those are where things are changed. Not on social media. Not on so- social media. Not everything has to be on social media. Didn't the Bible say that? When you see somebody <laughs> and stuff, you don't you, you don't brag and boast about it and all of that stuff. That's a part of the Bible. That's what you're supposed to do it, not for show. Well, God did. God did. Like like that like that preacher that got got busted. <laughs> Girl, she called she called everybody out for trying to get tickets to Beyonce. Then they found out that she was a beehiver. I just feel like people got too much job on their hands. <laughs> She put she put together a whole sermon for the church and said, Blank. <laughs> "Oh my God!" And, and like, that's this is why what's wrong people. With the church. Exactly. I was just gonna this say this is, is why people do not want to get to know God for themselves. This is why people don't want to to be a a part of church because of people like that. This. And she's fair. She honestly, she's fairly new in in the word. She says she got saved in her shower in 2015 because she did she did respond to everybody yeah, digging up her, digging yeah. up her. What's this out there? And that's why I ain't never going to um, issue on nobody for making decisions to go places. I, listen, I, if if be, I'm trying to get Beyonce tickets, Beyonce, can I get some tickets? Sure, I like Beyonce. I, sure. 
I got mine. I'm like, <laughs> I said, I got to get my outfit ready. I said, Beyonce got to see me. I got to be ready. I got to go to the gym and stuff because she going to see me. Listen, I'm gonna comfortable snatched. in my skin. Tell me who I am. <laughs> Listen. Listen. There's too many I gotta songs get my Beyonce's outfit. that are my theme song. Right. I made a whole mix of Beyonce with all just Beyonce songs mixed into each other. Okay. But P Pastor Reverend, Pastor Reverend Deacon Bishop, sit down. <laughs> sit down. You new to this. You new to this word thing. You new to this word thing. Sit down. God, 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 God don't like that. Mm -mm. God don't like that. Sit down. Come, come, come to, come to my, come to my church. It's called Kaya Tabernacle. It's called L'Chaim. <laughs> L'Chaim Tabernacle. Mad annoying. It's open seven, seven days a week. <laughs>